Um, it, it was contained in a, in a banana box full of chemicals that my father bought for me from the Nottingham Evening Post when I was about 11. It wouldn't happen these days, the Evening um, Post wouldn't? No, no, I suspect they're not allowed to advertise things like that anymore. So potassium metal is very reactive. One of my colleagues who used to work with it described it as evil. It will react so reactive that if you have it in a box with argon so that it can't get oxygen from anywhere, it will take the oxygen out of paper, which is paper is a compound of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, and it can extract this. So here we have a sample of potassium. It's a really quite nice metal and you can see very small sample but it's really soft and you can see it's a bit like chewing gum. You know I can squeeze it with the, with the pliers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the small sample of potassium and we're going to react it with water. So we've got a really quite large vessel with lots and lots of water in here and I'm going to take this small sample of potassium and drop it in very very carefully. Like sodium, it's quite a low melting point metal, and if you mix sodium with and potassium together to make so-called sodium-potassium amalgam, it's called NAC by those who work in the trade, Na for sodium, K for potassium. NAC is a liquid at room temperature. It looks a bit like mercury, a silvery liquid, but it's very light. And I've never played with it, but people say that if you try and drop it on the floor, it will burst into flames before it hits the floor because it reacts with the water in the air. It's the scale of the experiment, you know, we've gone from a massive lump of sodium yeah, to yeah. a tiny little pea of potassium, which right. tells me I need a bigger bit. Potassium is very important. Our bodies contain quite a lot of potassium and it's in all sorts of biological material. If you burn um, garden rubbish in the ash that you get in the end is potassium, which is presumably why it's called potash. So this piece of potassium is really special because it's a family heirloom. It belongs to, to Neil. And, um, it caused Neil a little bit of um, danger or a little bit of harm you know, in his earlier life. And I'm sure when he comes up after moulding us a nice piece, he'll tell you in first-hand experience about the reactivity <laughs> of potassium. You hurt yourself with this, did you? Oh, yeah. So, potassium and water. Neil's potassium and water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really civilised. <laughs>